I, 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 I've never killed anyone. I'm not leaving you behind. You start butchering their people, and our chances of making it out of here, any of us, go down to zero. They had some supplies just sitting out, and Norma caught me. I didn't think she was going to, but she, she, she let me go. Michonne, what is it? Hope you're not thinking about jumping. Because if you do, I'm gonna have to come in after you. I'm not looking forward to that. I just needed some space. No, you're gonna need a bigger boat. Oh, freezing my ass off. Yeah. Coffee will warm you up. No, I'm good. Right. Your loss. Mmm. Coffee. Hey, City! Did you hear the one about the kittens who took over the boat? What? Oh, no. Berto, no. <laughs> he was a mutiny! <laughs> Berto, just stop it now, okay? I'm warning you. <laughs> Damn, man. I despised a lot of them when I first got on board, but they grow on you. Like mold, they are. Nah, nah, sorry, that shit, isn't it? How long does it take? What, to warm to them? I'd say it takes uh, one year, three weeks, and six days. Before I joined up with Pete, my brother and I were cooped up in an old canning factory. Food for ages. A lot of fat and happy people. But then, a young girl got taken. We followed a trail. It wasn't hard with all the blood. Ended up cornering the people who took her in this warehouse. All ten of us went in. Only I came out. You did the right thing. And it got my brother killed. The right thing can kiss my ass. A few weeks later, I came across Pete, a ways up the coast. He saw that look on my face and he offered me a job. Didn't ask any questions, didn't turn me away, just welcomed me in. Pete's a good goddamn egg in a rotten world. Pete shouldn't be so trusting. People will always let you down. Not always, Michonne. Well, I 
I think Berto's little routine is winding down, so we can finally play cards. Care to join us? It'd be nice to have you there. Thanks, but I'm good here. All right. We'll make room just in case. Just know that you don't have to play solitaire all the time. Sure you want to do this? I need to see him. I need to see that bastard's face. <laughs> oh God, he's dead. I should have stopped you. How could you do this? That man was tied up, defenseless. You're better than this. He talked about my kids. So you killed him. I wanted this. I, I did, but seeing him now... I wish I'd been the one to do it. Sam. It was my dad. My family. I should have killed Randall myself. Sam, calm down. My dad isn't even in the fucking ground yet, and you want me to calm down? I, I didn't mean... He ruined everything. He killed... I know, I know. Pick you don't know. Show. Wait. You hear that? Answer me. Now. Michonne? Calm the fuck down. You should change your fucking tone. You might be sitting pretty thinking you have the upper hand, but your luck has changed. Michonne and Sadiq. They got the rest of the crew too. Oak and Berto. Look, whatever this bitch asks, don't... Sadiq! Don't worry. They're all in good hands here. But them staying that way is up to you. So listen closely. I'm willing to trade my brother for your friends. But anything you do to Randall, I will do to them. Do you understand? Look, you don't owe me anything, but please... We have to get them back. Stop worrying. I didn't touch him. That's what I like to hear. We'll be there by sunrise. Be ready for us.
She's coming here for her brother. Once she sees what we did to him. At least he can walk, right? If you can call that walking. Let's just hope she doesn't take it out on my guys. Norma wants her brother. It's not like there's another option here. We just need to fool Norma long enough to get our friends back. Then what? Norma's not gonna leave us alone. She won't stop just because we gave her her brother back. Even if he was alive, we still burned all their shit. So we run. After you trade for your friends, we haul ass to the back gate and get the hell out of here. But she'd take the house. Let her have it. Wouldn't she expect us to run? So what? She knows where we are now. It's not gonna be that easy, Paige. If we run, they'll chase us. But maybe we get away. If we stay here, there's no chance we get out of this alive. I can't fucking listen to this. What? Sam, come back here. Sam! ready to walk away, but I'm not just going to leave him like this. <laughs> we couldn't give my mom a real funeral. My dad and I had to bury her here. Just the two of us. He'd want to be with her. <laughs> That's all I can give him. We don't have time for this. Now with Norma coming. We have to be ready to leave. I'm not going. What? Uh, Sam, you can't still be thinking My that... mom is here, Paige. Everything I have of her. And Greg, if you want to leave, go ahead, but I'm not coming with you. Sorry, but I, I can't go. This house meant everything to my dad. It's all I have left. I won't force you to leave. If you want to stay, that's up to you. You don't have to leave either. We can defend this house. We can fight them off. No matter what happens, thank you. I owe you my life. Sorry it took me so long to say it. Sam, stop. Please. Maybe I can't help him, but I'm not gonna let Norma take the rest of my family from me. I've got some weapons stashed in my room. Old duffel bag. Should look familiar. You should make sure everyone's armed before Norma gets here. Yeah. I was just... wanted to know what it felt like. I, I wasn't gonna shoot it. And? How does it feel? 
it's, it's heavy. Empty. Can I help? I want to do something. I don't know if that's such a good idea. Okay. How could they just die like that? Greg and Dad. I, I thought we were safe here. What am I supposed to do? Just keep your head down. Stay safe. I'm not afraid. I didn't say you were. Sometimes the brave thing is not to fight. <laughs> the guy who did it killed my dad. He's gotta, I mean, the things he said, the way he was laughing about dad. Randall is dead, James. I killed him. I heard you guys talking. There's more people coming to the house. Sam's hurt. If, if she, they can't hurt her too. You have to stop them. Sam needs you right now. Go, help her. Here. I, I don't know if I'm ready, you know, to have one. Take this to your sister. Norma's on her way. Things could go wrong in a hurry. Wish it didn't always come to this. Janie, Rich, what's hold up? Prisoners aren't cooperating. What do you want to do? We don't have time for this. Get him moving. Hey, Sam. Hey, something you need? Want a hand? No, thanks though. Having something to do helps me not think about everything. Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. But she's trying to convince you to leave too. She's wanted out of here for a while. Guess she's found her chance. I'm not leaving without you. I wouldn't blame you if you did. You're here to get your people back and that's fine. None of this is your mess. It's just so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing, took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was, it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here. I, maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. Norma doesn't care about any of that. She's coming here, and she's not gonna stop just because this place has sentimental value. I know. I don't expect you to understand. I should get back to work. Better than I thought. Right behind you. Walker. Romer, switching off. 
This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Is that music? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Was this your dad's idea? Yeah. My dad makes sure I'm always safe, so nothing can happen to me. Ever. Especially not those... things. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone... eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. The monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off, too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Where is my dad? Why won't you talk to me? I just... I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. <laughs> Daddy. I wish it could go back, too. I wish it all the time. When Greg... When he... Did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No, no, don't think about things like that. We just need to keep going. That's all we have to do. The rest doesn't matter. Is that what's going to happen to me? Am I going to die and change into one too? <laughs> I won't sugarcoat it for you. We all turn into walkers when we die. <sighs> Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. Thanks for letting me see your fortress. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Were you able to talk some sense into her? Or is she still out there digging a hole in the ground? I've never seen her like this. She's... she's not thinking. Relax. I got her to stop. Then what's she still doing out there? 
She should be packing, getting the kids ready. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. But that's not why you're leaving. I mean, it's part of it. Call it self-preservation, but I've gotten pretty used to knowing when it's time to cut and run. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn, though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Talk to her. I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but... I don't know if I can do the same for them. Here. John, take care of our children and take care of yourself. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't help or explain anything, but it's true. I can't stand watching you and the kids suffer, knowing what's going to happen to me and what I'll become. Better to spare you that pain I love you more than anything. Sophie. Here, Pete. Thanks. Oh, hey. I'm looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for Dad. Even if I couldn't bury him. He wasn't at Mom's funeral. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. I didn't know what to tell him. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. You'll find him in his fortress. I just... I wish he didn't have to see him like this.
Sam? You okay? Greg and Dad? I just... I don't really know what to say. Where am I supposed to start? I don't know. I've never been very good at these things. So I'm not the best person to ask for advice. I'll figure something out. I'll give you a moment. Hey, you okay? Michonne. When you're quiet, it's more like this quiet. Like the storm's on the way. You know, I envy them a little. They've managed to hold on to something we all lost a long time ago. Something like normal. I don't know how to describe it. Feels like before. Just a little bit. Your boat comes close to that. You kind of forget everything else while you're out there. Hey, it's gonna be tough leaving this place. I just hope I can convince Sam to go with me. Miss Stone? She's here! <sighs> I thought we had more time. It's okay. It's gonna be okay. Sam! Just go upstairs with your brother, okay? I need you to hide until I come get you. <sighs> What's gonna happen? Is she gonna hurt us? Y you'll stop them, right? Right? Just get upstairs. We're just gonna talk, okay? Everything will be fine. Stay together, no matter what. We will. Okay. Here. I can get a clear shot of the front gate from upstairs. I'll cover you. If I can. You better not miss. I hope I don't. Paige, if anything goes wrong, I need you to take care of James and Alex. Don't talk like that. Paige, please. Sam, you know I'll... Grab Randall and meet us outside. Quiet out there. You ready for this? Anything goes wrong out there, I got your back. Just stay alert and be ready for anything. We don't know what Norma's planning. You got it. It's just me. What the hell is going on here? I had my people hang back a bit. I wanted to talk first. Just us. Clear the air a little. What's your game? No game. I just want to talk. Okay. Start talking. Hey, that is what I'm doing. I didn't come here to fight. Listen. Monroe is gone. Sunk down in the water like everything I built. You and I, we've each taken from the other. All I want now is my brother back. That's all. 
and I'll leave you be. He's right here. <laughs> Randall, you okay? <sighs> Just hang on. I got gotcha. you. One good turn. Any minute now. Safe and sound, just like I said. Now, give me Randall, and we can go our separate ways. You can't let her walk away. They burned our homes, murdered Zachary. I know what we've lost, but we'll lose a lot more if we don't end this. Now be quiet. Michonne, please. I just want my brother. Let's be done with this. Deal? He's all yours. <laughs> well, you seem awfully eager. Let me see his face first. Then we'll trade and be done with this mess. Who gives a shit about Randall? Jonas, don't! If you're not gonna punish them for what they've done, I will. We deserve retribution. Not like this. This is for Zachary. No! God. <laughs> Berto! Everyone put your guns down. I knew we couldn't trust them. Don't! Stand down! Please, don't hurt him. If you're not gonna do anything, we have to. That's not your call. Shot her! Ugh. Ugh. Jonas!
Gotta hold the door with something. I thought you weren't gonna make it for a minute. They stopped firing. They're surrounding the house. We have to get out of here. Where are the boys? Upstairs. Alex! James! Hurry up! Fuck! Get down! Every day, I wish I could go back and change it. But I can't. Michelle, it's Dominic. 
What's Where the hell happening? are you? Go pack your things, okay? We have to go. Where's mommy? We tried to wait. We're, we're, we're heading to Donna. Dad. She'll be fine. Come on. No, she'll come look for us. We have to be here. Michonne, if you're still... Just stay safe, okay? They need you. Did you, did you get out? Did you make it? I need to know. isn't goodbye. I'll see you again. When? I don't know. Soon. Say goodbye, girls. Your mother has to leave. Please, Mama. Stay here. With us. She can't. Just let her go. Dominic, please. Give us a minute. Come on, Alex! What are you doing? <coughs> no. Girls, enough. Let her leave if that's what she wants. Michelle! No, no. Don't go. Colette. She can't stay. We can't stay here! Please understand. It's not that I want to leave. I don't. I want to stay with you.
Sadiq's gonna take a boat down to what's left of Monroe. Salvage what we can. Give them time. They've lost a lot today. We made it out, but they need time to grieve those that did it. It's a lot to take in. We've all lost too much. You're right about that. It'll be harder out there without Berto. Might lean on you a bit more. It's not going to be the same without him. Are you going to be okay, Pete? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Yeah, I guess that's a bit hypocritical of me, huh? I wanted to ask. When we got separated, I heard you calling for your daughters. What, what happened in there? I tried to find you, but I couldn't. I had to get everyone out and... I saw my daughters. I got to talk to them. That's not possible, right? For them to be there. I know. Maybe you'd better start thinking about, you know, what if this doesn't go away? Maybe it won't. But this time, when I saw them, they weren't angry. I held them, and they hugged me back. It felt real. I think it's time to stop running. Go back to your group, the people you left, your family, before you can't anymore. If I know anything, it's how goddamn impermanent things are these days. Before you know it, they'll be gone. I like being around you guys. It's not goodbye for us. We'll always be around. Come on.